What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be reacting to why back goes all in on me McDonald's Grimace voting meal. Like I was, it'd be down below. Without any further ado, let's get this started. Literally inches deep. So it just takes getting it out. It's feeding time! <clears throat> feeding time brought to you by feed me more nutrition shell shock yo welcome to feeding time the big guy i like to try this but and it looks good too right back here sin city casa de la big guy guys and uh then today the big guy you guys were going all in all in on the new Grimace, McDonald's Grimace birthday meal. And uh, as you know, I ain't no little biatch. And uh, it comes in two choices. And you can order, a lot of the people, the food reviewers out there, you know, God bless them. God bless them. They're doing, you know, one or the other. The big guy, the big guy's hungry and ready to cook. Hashtag hungry. Feed me more. And today, I've got the Grimace, the Grimace's birthday uh, celebration shake and you the one option is you can get the big mac with fries and i went with the large you know i roll and uh ain't that right phoenix mm, that looks good as shit brother that food does and uh also got the 10 piece chicken nugget so you could usually get either the big mac and the fry or the chicken nugget and the fry with the birthday shake and the choice of medium or large. And usually, you know, we go, we go big or we go home, even though I'm big in my home. Yeah. Uh, anyways, got Sophie, the little guy down there waiting for your fries. I love you more than anything in the world. Okay. By the way, this is the first time I'm reacting to right back. I'm going to send it to him on Twitter. So he'll probably see it. So. Just stay patient. Let me let me dig in a little bit. We're gonna get you taken care of. You guys want to say hi to the people real quick? Come say hi. Little here, fry. Say hi. I love you. Give me kiss. I love you. Oh, one fry. His dog so cute. Sophie, your turn. Let Sophie come here. Share down. Come here, Sophie. Come say hi, Sophie. Sophie, fry. Come say hi. Hi, guys. My little Frenchie, my little baby. I love you, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. We'll give you some more. Let me do, let me start the video, okay? Let me start the video. I promise I'll give you more. Oh. They're just like me, they're always hungry. Anyways, guys, it's feeding time. Let's go all in on this Grimace birthday meal here. We're gonna start off with this Big Mac. Ain't nothing I ever haven't had before. I tell you though, I swear the Big Macs have the, even though the presentation, it actually looks pretty, pretty damn decent. Uh, I still, though, I, I don't think, I just feel like it's not what it used to be. That's what she said. Mm. Now I know why they call himself the B guy. All right. Oh. Yeah. He had to have a lot of more food because he's a big guy. I don't blame him. If I was that big, I would too. I tell you though, it, it tastes good. I've been uh, everything getting that wet cupping. I showed you guys the videos. Look how freaking jacked I am. My uh, weight's going up. I'm, I'm pushing. I'm going to get back up to 295, maybe even heavier, and then do a really strict cut around going into August. But I got I to gotta 
beef up a bit because I dropped my weight to the lowest I've been in a long time. I got down to 270, maybe even a tad under. Got my body fat levels very low. But I also had to scale back training very hard, a lot of conditioning, but not the amount of weight because that wet cupping, it's all in this trap area. I just got done. I've got out two massive pieces today. We've gotten this, the wet cupping on all the different areas. I got a little bit of bruising on me. I got a lot in the back. We're getting now, we're getting dry spots in the different areas where we've gotten all of it. But the main issue, and this is from the different therapists and the people, my trap is stuck to my scapula. And we've known this, I've known this for probably five years. And that's where the ball, we've broken up all this tissue. Now we're sucking out all the toxins. All that scar tissue, but there's so much of it. My, my, my trap, all of that is like a, like a rock. And it's what it, it used to be a huge bulge. We've mm -hmm. got it down so small, but that tissue still all the way deep in the muscle. Wait, I didn't know you had that. What? That's crazy. Literally inches deep. So it just takes getting it out. And it, that, what, how it, you see in the videos how it looks isn't how it looks in the muscle. That scar tissue is getting is, is all in the muscle and it's getting sucked out. And when it gets combined, it reforms together like glue into those big globs that you've seen. But it's like glue in the muscle. And, but this rock, we're getting it out and it, it just like the texture of, of the muscle and the, it, it, gets, it gets more and more pliable. And what's going to happen is when we've been doing this every day now, like very aggressive, very aggressive. My skin is healing rapidly from the cupping because the circulation has improved so much. I wake up feeling better and better and better and better. That scapula and trap are going to go back. That scapula is going to get free. And that's the that's the remaining issue. Like, so it's crazy how everything is timing, but I'm going hard. I'm, I'm getting up. I told you guys sometimes three something, usually four something in the morning. No alarm, just ready to go. I can't wait to like just get going and start the day because I know it's been seven years of work. And I've been like this and there's been periods though where we just have to do this up like the scar tissue and it's just like i just got to keep going keep going one day at a time but you know with everything going on you guys see some of the like the negative negativity out there that conveniently has started coming back as i get closer and closer which i always said was going to happen sure enough it has i know what he means i hate that negativity but the love and support is growing bigger and bigger and uh like the ryback show and i love the, the twitter spaces yeah go yeah i i like supporting you ryback i'm talking to you guys and going out doing interviews i'm gonna be doing a lot more and uh we're gonna keep building that momentum as much as i can while i'm doing the work at home to get get myself ready I've issued the challenge to Goldberg. We'll see if it happens. If not, no worries. Something I always wanted. That was, if it's a no, there's going to be others. If someone goes on the day, who would you want to face it, it all in? If you could, if Goldberg is, isn't able to go or whatever, you know, if he's going to fight somebody else. And I go, I go, Wardlow, easy, easy choice right there. I have a history with Arn Anderson. Arn's always been very kind, very, talks very nice about me. He knows me well enough. I could see that being something that could be a very enticing something situation. But, you know, I got to... To be honest, I would like to see that too, Ryback. Um, you and Warl Warlow. Just go one day at a time and get myself, get myself, get cleared. And no matter what the route is going to be, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful journey. And most importantly, healthy, happy. The four H's, I tell people. I live my life by the four H's. Kurt Angle had the his three eyes. I go by the four H's. Healthy, happy, horny, and hungry.
As long as you got your four Heavy, H's in place, happy and man, morning. life is beautiful. Any one of those, though, oh. any one of those fall off. Oh, Sophie, little guy, not good. Come here, get another fry. I'm compliment to the big guy. Here, one more. Love you guys. Oh, man. I back up though to about, I've increased my quality carb potatoes. Even though these maybe aren't the best potatoes. Um, and not fried, but baked or boiled with low fat condiments. A little bit of ketchup or, or um, liquid aminos. Black, black garlic seasoning. I put a little water in them, make them a little more easier so they're not as dry. Potatoes are a great carb source. They're actually one, easily one of the most easiest stored uh, in, is glycogen in our liver and our muscle tissue, uh, where it really it, it's great when the, you consuming it even on a low carb diet for small amounts or, or consuming higher amounts when we're trying to build more muscle. And so I've increased my potato. I got bags of potatoes over there, and I've already got up to 280, 281. It won't be a problem. I, I puff up. And to keep my body fat low, and I think I it'd be. I think I probably can get this this round over three hundred, even if I want. If I time it, depends on how heavy I'm able to go lifting too. But and then cut back down, get to that rye back two eighty seven to two ninety one elite weight, and that's where we're we're going to be rocking and rolling. Do some nuggets. I'm a barbecue sauce guy. Happy birthday, Grimace. Fuck, I, what, what was I thinking? I didn't even, well, since this is the only really, well, the Grimace stuff is on everything, but happy birthday, Grimace. Just bump. Psycho Sid style. Oh, man. I was a Sid guy growing up. One of my favorites. Like, oftentimes, when I'm asked, I feel like I always forget to mention Sid. And I was as big of a Sid fan, man. I've seen him live in WCW, him and Goldberg, that bloody match they had. Oh, I remember speaking of which, speaking of Psycho Sid, I liked him in ECW as well. He was awesome in ECW. There in person for that. And uh, just as a kid, man, he was, he was, man. that's where I, I, did, I learned, I was like, big traps. Sid had, had the best traps, I thought, as a kid. It instantly caught my attention with that and the blonde hair and just, Larger than life persona, man. Great guy. I got to do a signing next to him. He was so cool to me, man. Said he was, man, like, really enjoyed watching me. And that's what a, it's like, that's coming full circle when, like, you grow up watching someone, and then you get to do something like that. And that was at the big event in New York. And I, was, I grew up loving you. You were, like, played a big part, you know. I'm so, uh, nothing but love and respect for the people anyone man who does this that inspired us to get into it or to become fans little guy you guys like to see them take it easy i'm eating my nuggets you can have some more fries okay <laughs> oh. I love you guys more than anything. oh i've got an extra 10 nuggets over there i'll give you guys one of the nuggets each later so i'm gonna have 18 not 20 today But I also, um, they're so cute. I well, tell I was you. talking about all the, the, the hate and negativity and Stevie Ray did the Stevie Ray show. If you go watch the podcast, please subscribe to Stevie Ray TV, Booker's brother. Stevie Ray. One half Hall of Fame tag team, Harlem Heat. You know, I need to do, um, do that. Me and Stevie have been cool from, man, he played a big part of me when I was 19. He came in to talk about it, have that clip up, came for a drag racing show. And uh, 19 year old me wanted to be a pro wrestler. So hold I on. I, I, so if I subscribe to Ryback, he will follow me back on Twitter. I wouldn't mind doing that, but yeah. Asked him and he, he after I get done working, he came and talked to me outside for like 12, 15 minutes, told me about the business, what I should do. And, and that played a big part in me 
kind of getting confident enough to go for it. Because we like, and I understand when people ask them, they don't know what to do. And there was like, there wasn't the wrestling schools there are here, <clears throat> excuse me now. But man, I was really happy he reached out after the Booker stuff. And I think I'll explain it really well on his show around the 51 minute mark on Stevie Ray TV. And uh, subscribe to man, great, great. He's one of the real ones. And uh, with everything, but I just essentially realized, I go, I got to hit this stuff face on now that I'm finally coming back. It all's timing out. You can't, like, I, I blocked and everything. And when the other stuff happened earlier, a couple of years, like Henry, ignore it. Just keep, stay focused. Now, okay, you're going you're gonna to go this route more full blown and use some other, nope, we're going to fight it head on. And we saw what happened, backed out. And, uh, and essentially just call out anyone, all these people that have been putting out these lies and the dirt sheet BS and, you know, the cornets and all that. And, and Jim does did some more stuff recently. It's like, no, just come on the show. Let's just have a conversation. Don't have to name call. Don't have to do anything. Let's just talk wrestling. I'll answer some questions that maybe you have some things you guys have talked about over the years. If you want, if not, we'll just talk wrestling with that rather than just like create hateful content, you know, on people, on lies and push lies and, and things I go, it doesn't, people with common sense can see through that. You might be able to manipulate and change the perceptions of some of the marks and negative fan base out there, which I don't think they're even fans. They're just hateful people in general. Mm. Well, that, and any of the other people that have said anything, it's like enough people know me. I'm a fan, or I bet. The truth is going to win. And I've, I've held firm. I've held my ground. And we're, we're seeing it over and over and over. With it. And it's not by accident. So, but I get to <clears throat> prove to you guys my hungry mindset on things. And you got to like with this stuff, though, you just confront it head on and just talk. That's why Stevie, man, I love him. Just right away. Let's just go. Let's just talk. Have a good time. Let people then can see. It, it, it cuts that shit. Cuts it right off. And you're always going to have the obsessed crazies on there and whatnot, but. called out all the dirt shoot out dirt shoot things i'm blocked quite a few of them none of them have taken up to go i go come let's talk let your followers decide all those 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 clickbait headlines and the bs you put put out let's just talk let's go over the facts of the situation you know that they don't like that though because then they get exposed for what they are and i don't even have to do anything i just certainly just just talk and conversate people happens every single time I know what you mean. We just live in, you know, we live in a wild world. I don't know if you got... That door sheets and stuff, yeah. Crazy. There's so many people that are here that are just suffering, that just want to spread, you know, their suffering and try to make other people unhappy or obsess in negative ways. We see it time and time again. That's what in the, the social media and everything being suppressed and me being forced to see this hate. And I go, man, love can overcome this, though. And I'm taking it upon myself. I go, I'll show everyone what you can do. And you just take it on, head on. And you just try to have conversations and putting them on my Twitter spaces. And you guys you guys that are following can see. And I know, I've already known. Whether now I'm just like, no, I'm going to show other people. And if I can get my stuff going and, and get seen by, by the numbers I should be, it will make it a lot a lot quicker process. But... I'm going to get on the right platform and it's going to the right, the right show. And this is going to be talked about. And attention is going to be brought to this sooner than later. And we do this and people go, why don't you give up, give up, give up. You lose the moment you give up, become like you. Yeah. You don't give up that easily. I don't give up on YouTube and stuff. Like look at me. I want to be big on YouTube and stuff. And you don't see me giving up. With that, those of you that are the shit talkers and the hateful people, that's what that's what separates the hungry from from everybody else. Mm. Oh, I love. 
those nuggets were a go to when I was a kid. I uh, yeah, mean too. Well, back, I don't know what to mean. We'd ride our bikes, get 20 nuggets, large fry, burger, arch deluxe. I was an arch deluxe guy, kid growing up. That and the McChicken, man. The McChicken, the Arch Deluxe, when that was available, and it was that was around for a while. Then I don't know why they got rid of it. That thing was that was something else. The Nuggets, the Arch Deluxe, and the McChicken, and I'd usually get a large. I think Del Taco had the Mister Pib. McDonald's, it was. I don't know what was it, Coke or Pepsi? Maybe it was Coke. eat a big bunch of food, drink refills on the sodas, then we'd go play. We'd go play video games for a while, then we'd go play outside the rest of the day. Here, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Ah, right. one more. Why this is on my table? I saw the uh, the guy like to drink his fries. That's funny. CM Punk stuff with Collision. I'm really interested to see uh, interested to see how that's going to go. The debut episode. What the storyline direction is going to be? I seen the debut episode. It, I thought it was awesome. I saw probably like you guys all the CM Punk ESPN stuff with Paige. I'll hold off reserve judgment to see if this is part of a storyline or, which would be very good if they do that. That's what it should be. Create conflicting, drama-filled storylines and infuse it with the real. In their views and personality, like with ESPN, if that if that's the direction, brilliant. But I'm seeing a little common. I saw a little common thing that I've I've lived already, and I've heard. I will say I've heard nothing but great things about Paige, and that he's a great guy and a very nice guy, which would be very fitting. You know, the we'll see with with the things that were said, and I've, I've seen this a time or two before. Oh, that Grimace birthday shake. And I, I thought that was, I don't know why I thought that was, is that the color of the, it's not the color of the cup. It had that straight food dye. Mm. Wow. I wish that, I, I, even though there's so much shit in all this, it, it's, this is, this is a You know what I would like to try? The new strawberry shortcake. From McDonald's. Cheat meal for the YouTube. Speaking of that, why back you should try that? You know, this isn't... I want to eat this stuff every day. I certainly... Because a lot of people get confused on that. They see the weak videos and like, you eat this stuff all the time. It's like... And it's once a week and... And not... He don't eat it all the time. Now, it depends what comes out probably... He'll probably get it. Doing as drastic of an amount as that it could be. But I wish these places would stay away from the food dice. They're, they're, they're no good. This is a good birthday shake. I'm going to finish this. I could actually review this. The others I've had before. But I will overall. <clears throat> the Grimith, Gr Grimith, the Grimith birthday meal. Super, where's the bad light? Hey! Um. Stupid. Ah. Uh, the Grimith birthday shake. This is, it actually tastes really good. I don't know if Grimith shitting it or what, but it's purple like Grimith. I'm going to knock him, though, for the food dye, but it's very good. 
I'll give it a nine out of 10. It would be 10 out of 10 if they, if they didn't have that food dye in it. Like I said, you can get either the, the Big Mac or the Nuggets. Depends what mood I'm in. That's why I got both. I was like, I, I want both. I don't, I can't, I was torn. I didn't know which way to go. Um, but you know, depending on, you know, what your preference is, but you get to get the, you get the, either the nuggets or the Big Mac with the fries. You got to upgrade the large with inflation. It's like 30 extra dollars for the large. I think it was a dollar something extra dollar or two. Um, and yeah, but it, this is honestly not, not bad. It's a gimmick meal. That's what you know, that's what they're doing. They know the social media people. I look at what the other top food people do. Oh, this is the, the hot, the hot ticket. But other than that, guys, I've got my new Ryback League of Fire hot sauce now, the Pepper Slam Chug Challenge, leagueoffire.com. I'll have that link in the description. Now available, we're doing a live tonight, me with the UK Chili Queen and Johnny Scoble for the launch party for this. And uh, Johnny Scoble. all the rules, essentially. Oh, yeah, I need to watch. I haven't seen Johnny Scoble in a while, so I need to watch him. Open it on camera, which we'll be doing tonight. You open it for the first time on camera. It comes with two trading cards too. Uh, you chug it, you, you swallow all of it, and uh, you got to give it a four minute afterburn. And that's that's the this is jalapeno based with nine million uh, heat unit school uh, the nine million scoville heat unit. That's how cool you made that. And it's nine yeah the nine million scoville heat unit extract. So this is intense. And uh, I'll be making sure I have some bananas and bread prior. Coat the stomach a little bit. But this is the first one of three, and this is going to be we're gonna, hot, going to get really hot, and then scorching hot. This, though, is intense. But do this online. Tag me, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Guys, you get five points in League of Fire for the, for the points they keep track on, and uh, which I'm on there as well for doing a lot of the challenges over the years. And see uh, if you think you're tough. Let's see if you can handle the heat. Hmm. But that, Feed Me More Nutrition, FeedMeMore.com, Best Supplements, all the Ryback merch, Feed Me More, Ryback Rules, Hungry Shirts, non-wrestling shirts, we've got it all on there. I think we got to get a Ryback Return, a Ryback Trademark shirt, something. we got to get a couple new ones for the, for everything and uh, up on the site as well. If you got any ideas on that in the comments, please let me know if uh, any. I was speaking of that right back. I have a one challenge you could do. Sour challenge. One up candy. Look it up. One and number one. You up. Candy. Dot com. This guy named Faze Rug made it. Yeah. It's a sa supposed to be the sourest candy of them all. Any suggestions on new shirt ideas, new tank tops and everything. And uh, new customers save 30%, ride back 30. Returning customers can save 20%, feed me 20. And you get the free Feed Me More Nutrition black shaker bottle with your orders right now. I have my Wake Up Unlimited Energy in here. On that, the pink lemonade. we got mango candy. Guys, the best supplements on the planet. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for supporting my ride back show, available on all podcast platforms. Continuing to move up those charts. You could join on Twitter Spaces or Ryback TV, but actually call in and be a guest on Twitter Spaces. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging all the love and support out there, guys, and I can't thank you enough. Just one day at a time. And uh, until we feed again, my friends. All right. Good video, Ryback. I loved it. 10 out of 10. All right. If you enjoyed this, guys, smash that like button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.